So today we're starting the topic of statistics. Um, our focus today is going to be on determining if something is a statistical question and finding out the mean. We're going to practice with the mean every day this week. Um, we're hitting it today because it is the hardest um, measure of central tendency. All right, so let's talk about statistical questions. And before we do that, we're going to just talk about statistics. Guys, the important thing when you're talking about statistics is it's a branch of math. Which, when it says it's a branch of math, what's an easier way of saying that? It's a type of math. So it's a branch of math is the same as saying it's a type of math. Just like when you think of algebra, you know it's math. It's math with letters. When we think of statistics, it's math that's going to have data. So it's a branch of math that deals with collecting, organizing, and interpreting data. Algebra has letters. Statistics has data. data okay? Um, on the test next Friday, there is a vocabulary section. All right, it's been a while since we've had vocabulary on a test. Um, with statistics, it has a lot of new words, so that will be on this test Friday. I want you to have a heads up, okay? So statistics is the type of math with data. Data itself is pieces of information. That's it. All right, data is just your information. Um, a lot of people think of statistics dealing with science because in a science experiment, what are you collecting? Data. Data. Pieces of information from that experiment. Um, statistics, you also see a lot of statistics like in the banking and financial world because finances has a lot of data. data. Lots of pieces of information, lots of numbers that you can work with, okay? Um, today, we're going to focus on what is a statistical question. And it's just a question that anticipates and accounts for a variety of answers. Guys, it's a question that has lots of answers. That's it. That's all that's saying. So if I ask everyone in this class who their math teacher is, is that a statistical question? No, because everyone's going to say, Miss Sawyer, how many answers are there? One. What if I ask every single student at Thompson Middle School who their math teacher is? That would be statistical because they're all going to have different answers. So not only does the question matter, it's going to matter who you're asking that question, right? All right. What if I asked everyone in this class, do you like pizza? Is that a statistical question? Let's try raising our hand. And I want you to pay really close attention to this part right here. What means a lot of answers? Noah? It's not three or more. So when I ask, do you like pizza, it's just yes or no. no. Does that have a variety of answers? No. It's pretty yes or no. It's just one or the other. What if I ask every single person, what's your favorite pizza topping? Would that, that, is that is statistical because we have a lot of different answers. Do you all see the difference there? All right. And you're going to get to practice this on our notes and on our homework. All right. The next thing we're going to talk about is central tendency. And I'm going to put a little star next to this. Okay, because we're going to mention this a lot more tomorrow. Central tendency is the measurement of center for given data. I didn't say the center because there's a lot of different ways you can find a center. So I can find it by doing the average, which we're going to talk about today. I could line up all my numbers and just see what number is in the middle. Would that be a center? Yeah. Yeah, so I can find the average, which is what they're all close to. I can line them all up and actually pick the one in the middle. And then another way that we can determine the center is by term determining what number is there more than all the others, which should kind of sound familiar to that worksheet that we did with the tennis shoe on Thursday. All right, if you weren't here Thursday, we're going to talk about those and practice them today and tomorrow together. All right, so we're going to focus today on finding the mean. Again, the mean is the average. So, like, if I wanted to find the average of your test scores, I would add up all your tests. And then I would divide by the number of tests that you took, okay? Let's go ahead, guys. We're going to practice this in a minute. We're just going to add them all up, and we're going to divide by the number of numbers. I want to see what you get when you add them, and I want to see what you're dividing by, all right? And I'll show you how that works. going to look in just a moment. All right? The first questions that we're going to look at real quick are determine whether each question is statistical and explain. All right, so for number one, who was the first president of the United States? You're not answering the question. We're just saying, is it statistical, yes or no? Sheldon? No? Why not? 
Yeah, it only has one answer. It has one answer. All right, number two. What are the admission prices to each of the state parks in Kentucky? Is this statistical, yes or no? Leah? Yes. Why? Yeah, the state parks can have different prices. The state parks can have different prices. Okay. And I like that she said not only can they have different prices, but there are more than two state parks in the entire state of Kentucky, I'm betting. Okay. Right. What is the height of the tallest water slide at Wild Rides Water Park? Is this statistical yes or no? What do you think, Liam? Yeah, is it asking for all of the water slide heights? No, it's just saying the tallest one. How tall is it? So they're going to only have one answer. So no, it only has one answer. Sir, it might help if I spelled it right. Okay. Number four, how much time do students in my school spend on the internet each night? Statistical or not statistical? Nathan? Yes. Yes, why? Because there's multiple students. There's multiple students. Is everyone spending the same amount of time? No. no. So I'm going to say yes. It has a variety of answers. All right, these next ones are where we're finding the mean, which is where we're going to add it all up and divide. It says round to the tenth. Guys, if I get a whole number, am I going to need to round? No. If I get a decimal with just one decimal place, am I going to need to round? No. If I get a longer decimal, though, we would end up rounding this, okay? All right, so that doesn't mean you round on every problem. You just round where it's necessary. So for number one, I have 5, 11, 23, 6, and 12. The first thing we're going to do is add them all up. So this would be where I would, you are going to be allowed to use a calculator still. All right, Noah, what do I get when I add them? 57. And you're going to need to write that number down for me. All right, you can use a calculator, but I need to know what you get. What am I going to divide by? And I'm going to use a fraction bar to show my division. What am I going to divide by here? Jesse? Five, because there's one, two, three, four, five numbers. Okay, so I'm going to type in 57 divided by five. What does that give me? Hey, guys, if you'll have a seat, and let's do that when we start our homework, okay? Um, what am I going to get when I divide that, Lane? 11 and 4 tenths. Okay, 11 and 4 tenths, if I was going to write that as a decimal? 11.4. Do I need to round this? No. no. And guys, so I know y'all know me. I love me a fraction. Um, but with statistics, they mostly use decimals. So this is going to be a section where I say put it as a decimal. And it also gave me a hint that we're going to be rounding, which involves decimals. Can I round a fraction? No. no. So I do want the decimal there, okay? Thank you, Lane, though, for trying to put that in a fraction because you know I like them. All right. Let's look at the next one. So again, I'm going to add up all my numbers. What do I get when I add up all of those numbers? Owen? 601. 601. And what am I going to divide by here? Ashlyn? 7. 7? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I agree. All right. What do I get when I do that division? Martina? Um, 85.8. 857 blah, blah, blah. 857 blah, blah, blah. Which we don't need all those extra numbers because it says we're going to round. Now, guys, that means I want my number to stop after that 8, right? Do I want it to go any further? Mm -hmm. No, I just want one decimal place. But we've got to decide, is that 8 going to stay an 8? Or is it going to go up to a 9? Kaya? It's going to go up to a 9. Remember, if it's 5 or more, we're going to raise the... Score. If this number was 4 or less, we would just leave it as an 8. We would let it rest. Okay. So we're going to write our answer as 
9. So sometimes you'll need to round. Like on the first one, you don't need to round if it's not necessary, okay? All right, guys, are there questions on those examples? All right, I'm going to pass out your homework. The first side is just, are they statistical? Guys, it does not say to explain. It just says, right, yes or no. And then on the back side, you're doing the mean. I do want to see what you get when you add them and what you're dividing by, and then you can write your answer, okay? Okay.